The first step in using the point-to-point -point is to take the locomotive up to the speed that you want it to run at when it's on the point-to-point. -point. Faster, faster. So I'm just using the up arrow to bring faster, the speed on the faster, locomotive up faster, to about oh, faster, 50 or 60, faster. which is about half speed. And of course I can hit the uh, five, five. back arrow to have it back up if I run out of track. Faster. Okay. Forward. Six. At that point, one. I'm going to hit the menu button. Menu. Which takes us to the menu that includes the point to point. And for that, I'll hit number three for point to point. Three. Point to point. And it's going to ask you to enter a three digit pause. This is how many seconds you want it to pause at the each end of the point to point. So I'm going to type in zero. Zero. Uh, zero. Z nine. Nine. And you'll see that immediately the speed goes to 61, which is where we had it set. It's going forward, and it's about to hit a read switch, at which point the speed goes to zero, and the timer on the right-hand side starts counting down from nine to zero, at which time the speed should go back up to 61, and it's going to continue on its way to the other end. I'll pause there for a second. And it's approaching the other end, and if you watch carefully, the when the read switch is hit, there we go, speed is to zero, it's counting down again. The test track is actually quite long, so it takes a while to get to the other end. Okay, camera went to zero, speed is back up, and now we're going in the other direction. Again, I'll pause it because we don't particularly want to wait for it to come the whole way. All right, the locomotive's coming back, and again, it's running at speed 61, and you'll see in a moment when it hits the read switch that that will drop to zero, and the timer will start. And it will repeat. The other significant change that was made to the throttle since the last video is the ability to operate two locomotives without uh, manually entering a new address. Uh, Right now, if, I, if you look at the screen, you'll see that the speed is set to zero. The address is at 1830, and there's a dash one, which means that's locomotive number one. If I hit the menu button, menu. I have, uh, again, 1830 down there for the ID. If I were to press number two, it would let me change that from 1830 to whatever I needed. But there's a button one that says swap, and if I hit number one, Now you'll see the loco ID has changed to three, and if I go back to the main menu, it says the address is three, which is my other test locomotive, and it happens to be uh, cab number two. So you can switch be back and forth between those menu. quite easily just by going into the loco menu one. and hitting number one for swap, and it'll allow you to choose one of the two uh, locomotives without going through uh, re-entering an address.